Senator, let me turn to politics uh, here a little bit. The last time you were on this show, you made it clear that you weren't ready to support him, but you were willing to give him some time to prove to you why you should support him. Uh, the thing that bothered you the most is the Muslim ban at the time. It's about right. a month later. Uh, you've seen what happened even in the last 36 hours, uh, the back and forth again with Mitt Romney and Donald Trump. Are you yet comfortable supporting Donald Trump, and can you ever envision being comfortable supporting Donald Trump? I'm not comfortable now, and it is more difficult for me to imagine that I'll be comfortable uh, coming up. Uh, we've had since uh, we last spoke, uh, certainly the comment on the judge, uh, born in Indiana, who uh, Donald Trump referred to as a Mexican judge. Uh, that's extremely troubling, and it uh, makes all of us wonder if he can turn around, if he can actually act like a candidate needs to act uh, to win a general election. He hasn't apologized for it. Do you believe, by the way, it was a racist statement? I agree with Paul Ryan's definition. I don't know how else you can characterize it other than saying that it's textbook racism. Um, now, I, I just don't know how else you can define it. Are, do you believe there should be an effort, there is more than a month before the convention, that there is one last effort to, for delegates to decide whether this is the right path to take with Donald Trump? I doubt that that will gain any speed or currency. Uh, it's, it's pretty much too late at this point. Should it, though? Uh, to envision another candidate. Um, if these comments continue or if Donald Trump uh, still refuses to apologize or or to acknowledge that there's a problem with these kind of statements, then yes, I think there should be. Uh, but I'm not holding my breath. Take me in that room on earlier this week. It certainly seems to me, because I could just tell from Mitch McConnell's comments, they got tougher on Trump as the week went on. I take it you, uh, many of your colleagues in the Senate Republican Conference, not just a handful, uh, are, are uh, very frustrated about Donald Trump. Oh, we are. Uh, this will affect the down ballot uh, you know, races in the Senate and the House and everywhere. Uh, it, it really has an impact. I ran in 2012. There were some other Senate candidates making statements that, uh, that we didn't agree with, uh, and that affected our races. I can't imagine how it would be to have the top of the ticket, our standard bearer, our nominee, making these kind of statements. And so it's, it's very troubling uh, to those of us uh, who are down ballot. I'm grateful that, that I'm not running this year. Uh, your colleague, Senator John McCain, uh, 